Early this year, Chef Smith decided to break the Guinness World Record of an individual cookathon. And then he organized people to come in and help him. So he was he was in the news, he was everywhere. And he did it way back in February. And his aim was just to cook for a longer time. So he was doing it and he said his target was 820 hours of cooking. And indeed he did it. But then for Guinness World Records to recognize what he did, it looks like the Guinness World Record did not see what he was doing. So we were just sitting at somewhere old, only for us to see on the internet that Chef Smith claims that Guinness World Record has now recognized his effort and have come to award him. And people were like, hey, are you sure? People started posting his certificate on social media. Bloggers were trending everywhere. Hey, Chef Smith has won. Chef Smith has won. Congratulations to Ghana. He was hyping it. And you know, he even held a press conference to invite journalists to come on board and then come and support him. And he went carrying a, a plaque showing the certificate. And people were like, ah, looking at the certificate, it looks like it's fake. Oh. Some people were just contemplating. So those who are very educated and elite went on social media to ask Guinness World Record, ah, are you sure you have awarded Chef Smith for his effort? Because if you have, we would have seen his picture all over the internet or even on your page. But we are not seeing it. What is happening? Guinness World Records came out to say that, ah, who is Chef Smith? We don't even know him. Where does he even stay? He said he's from Ghana. We've never heard his name before. So please, it is not true. Forget about it. Then it was all over the news again. Our bloggers were now going to change everything they have written about him. And some were saying that, ah, we knew it. Look at the covering of the plague. Hilda Bassi's one is a bit ash. This little boy who did the painting to his own is also a bit ash. Looking at the latest awards on the social media platforms, you can see the S. Why is it that only Chef Smith own the plaque and everything looks black? So it means there's a counterfeit somewhere and people were laughing. Right after announcing his alleged win, it was also he drew the attention of his sponsors, that is Amaldia Shopping Center at Painters. He drew the attention, they were surprised that, ah, so we sponsored Chef Smith during his cook -a -ton. We did everything for him, the things he needed to cook with, we did it for him. So why is it that if now he has been awarded by the Guinness World Record, why didn't he come to us to tell us that this is what I have achieved so far and this is the success we were all looking for. Now finally we've gotten it. So please come and share in my joy. But no, Chef Smith decided to do a press conference on his own and then ignore his sponsors. And this annoyed the sponsors. That is Amadia Shopping Center has painted. They had to send in police officers to arrest him as in connection with that alleged contractual disagreement. Meaning that Chef Smith had an agreement with Amadia Shopping Center that if anything comes up, he would inform them or alert them before he informs any other person. But this time around, Chef Smith did not, did not even inform Amadia Shopping Center before they could realize Chef Smith had done a press conference and was informing everybody except them. And also, Chef Smith had decided not to pick their call. When they send him a message, he blocks them. They couldn't get access to him. The only time they could get access to him was when he was announcing his win. And when this happened, they allowed police officers to go and pick him up. So Chef Smith was picked up by officers from the La police station at the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel when he was announcing in a press conference that he had indeed set the new record for the longest cooking marathon by an individual. In fact, he maintained that he was now the record holder with a time of 802 hours and 25 minutes. But there's no communication as yet from the Guinness World Record. When this happened, most people who were like, ah, is it true? If it was true, Guinness World Record would have come and posted it on their page. But this time around, it's not on their page. So some people who were so worried about it were like, ah, what is going on? We need to know. Let's go and find out from Guinness World Record. And indeed, when they went, the people including Bongo Ideas, um, other celebrities, took it upon themselves to go and then find out if indeed he is the Guinness World Record title holder. When they went to verify, it came out that the Guinness World Record had officially confirmed that Ghanaian chef Ebenezer Smith lied about his record for the longest cooking marathon. And then when this happened, eh, people were like, ah, so this man, is he serious? What is he trying to tell Ghanaians? You waste people's time 
you get press medium journalists to come and cover your story only for you to lie about it and some are saying that this one rings a bell someone has done this before who and someone say dr Yuen. they say yes is related to Dr. Yuen because no person in the right senses would fake something like this and then would put himself in trouble. If he had not gone to print this certificate out, then nobody would have realized that he did something. Now you have allowed a Madia shopping mall to come and arrest you for no good reasons. And aside everything going on him, Nigerians have also come on social media to mind field Ghanaians after Chef Smith was declared that what he did is a lie you know the way Ghanaians and nigerians are hmm. nigerians are already on our necks they are cooking Ghanaians like wache when will they realize that chef smith was lying and they are saying that you Ghanaians, you go explain tire you want to be like us you can't be like us you're always competing with us hey the way they are insulting Ghanaians, eh? they've insulted us to a point that is as even rich our president they are just making mockery of us so as it stands now Ghanaians cannot even go on social media to say anything about cooking, you know, because Chef Smith has disgraced all of us. And some are saying that, what is the essence of doing this? Can't you sit here somewhere and focus on your life? Must you win an award? Must you come and uh, say something like this? What at all is wrong with some people? Can't we have peace in this country? And others are saying that, please allow him, oh, allow him the pressure from his family, the pressure from his friends, the pressure from his everywhere. People are asking, ah, were you not the one who was doing the cookathon? How far were it? So he couldn't stand the pressure again. He needed to do something to cover up. That is why he went to Accra New Town to go and print the certificate. He has come to show to Ghanaians that he has won the award. Little did you know that we are in a technological world. People would just go and find out if it is true. And what is so disgracing is that most media houses do not even confirm that if the certificate was true or not. They just went ahead to post it. Chef Smith wins the longest cookathon. What, 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 what? People were posting on their social media, on their statuses. Now, it is a lesson to each and every one of us that if you find any information somewhere, confirm first before you start spreading it. It's the same we're talking about people. If you do not confirm about the information and you just post it like that, it puts you in such position that people will think you're a liar. But maybe it's not true. You just want to be the first to break the news. It is best to be the last to break the news if it is concrete than to be the first to break a lie and everybody will be talking about it. So it's a lesson to all of us. We need to take it in good faith and then not make such a mistake like that next time.